Hello guys, I am Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we are here with lesson number four on learning how to use the Raspberry Pi and in particular we're learning how to operate the Raspberry Pi using Linux. Linux is the operating system that Raspberry Pi uses and we are here to learn Linux. This is lesson number four. If you remember in lesson number one we sort of showed you where you could order this stuff and get the get the kind of things that you're going to need to follow me, follow me through these lessons. In lesson number two we showed you how to download the operating system, install the operating system on the SD card, and even back your SD card up. One of the things we've said before, and I will say over and over, make sure that you never pull the SD card out of the uh, Raspberry Pi without first properly shutting down. How do you properly shut the Pi down? You do a pseudo halt or a pseudo shutdown, and that takes it down. Once it's down, then you can take the power off of it. Once you've taken the power off of it, then you can take the card out of it. Don't take the card out of it while Linux is running. That's a very bad thing. And don't take the card out of it while the Raspberry Pi is, is powered up. If you do, you will likely corrupt your card and you will have to go back and reinstall your operating system. <clears throat> Okay, and that was lesson number two. Then in lesson number three, we started learning how to operate uh, Linux, uh, operate in the command window or the, the command line or the terminal window. And so we're going to learn some more Linux today. We're going to start with a new command that you will find useful. It is, let me click here, it is called clear, and it will clear your terminal window. So you start with a nice, fresh, new window. Okay. What we really focused on in lesson number three was how the paths work, okay? We showed you that with Linux, there's kind of two parts to just about everything you do. The first is the what, that's the command that you want to give, and the second one is the where. That's the where you want to do that command. And so if I just put ls, with that's a what, if I don't give it a where, it'll just list the files in my present operating folder, the folder that I'm in. If I give it a where, I could say ls. If I say slash, a leading slash always takes us to where? The root folder, which is the what? The highest level folder. So if I say ls, my top folder, my main top highest level folder has these folders in it. I could say ls and I could do, do a slash that takes me to root and then I could say uh, home which takes me to the home folder and it shows me that in my home folder I have a folder called pi. Now by doing this ls I'm looking around but I'm not moving around. I'm not going to the folder. I'm staying in my present folder but I'm just looking over there in that folder. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing that we learned <clears throat> is pwd will always show us where we are. If I say PWE, it shows me that I'm in the folder slash home slash pi. And I can also, uh, so if I do a slash home, if I do a slash, it takes you to root. If I do a not a leading slash, then what it will do is it will uh, reference things relative to the folder that I'm presently in. And if I do a dot dot, it takes me up one. So if I say ls dot dot, that will show me the files that are in the folder up one level from where I am. Where am I? I'm in pi. Up one level would be home. And so if I do an ls dot dot, it shows me that in that folder there is one folder called pi, and that just happens to be the folder that I'm in. I could go up two. I could say ls <clears throat> dot dot slash dot dot and that would take me all the way back to the home or the root I mean all the way back to the root directory and show me the things in the root directory. LS does not change where I am it just shows me in different things. LS is the what, the path is the where. <clears throat> okay now we want to stay you don't want to be up here messing around in these folders if you don't know what you're doing because these are the system folders and you will get in trouble. You kind of want to stay down here in the home slash pi or the slash home slash pi. That's kind of like your little area that you can work in, you can put your files in, and you cannot get into too much trouble if you stay in the slash home slash pi folder. Okay? Now, we being the organized creatures that we are. If we're going to create files, we want to be able to create folders. So we don't want just everything there in that home pie folder. We want to sort of start creating folders to put specific things. And so we want to be able to make a folder. Well, the way we make a folder is with a command, a new command. The first, or I guess we learned clear, the second new command that we're going to learn in this lesson is <clears throat> 
make directory mkdir. <coughs> if I do a make directory, I can say my files. Now, where is that going to put it? I did not put a leading slash, and because I did not put a leading slash, that is going to put my files in my present working folder, which is slash home slash pi. So let's do that. Now let's look ls, and looky here. We have a new folder. We have the old friend desktop, the old friend Python games. Stay out of Python games. We're learning Linux now. We're not playing Python games. <clears throat> and now we have a new folder called My Files. And we did that with the mkdir. Oops, what if I want to get rid of it? Well, I would do rmdir, remove directory, and then that's the what. Then what are we removing? My <coughs> files. Now if I do an ls, looky there, it's gone. Okay. What would be another way that I could make that directory if I wanted to reference things all the way from the root? Well, I could say make directory, <clears throat> and then I could say slash home slash pi, and then what are we going to make? We are going to make my files. And understand this is not a file, this is a folder that I'm making because I'm making a directory. Now if I say ls, boom, there's my files. Okay, let's remove it. Let's remove it using this starting from the top. So I could say remove directory. I could say slash home, <coughs> slash pi, slash my, my files. Okay, now let's do an ls. <coughs> and look, it's gone. So do you see on these path names, we can do the path name relative to going all the way back to root, all the way back to root and working our way down, or we can do it relative to where we are now. And that's based on whether we put the leading slash or not put the leading slash. Hey, let's look at this. Let's go say I go change directory desktop. Okay, where am I now? Oops, wrong PWD. Where am I now? I'm in home slash pi slash desktop. And uh, let's say I want to look ls one level up dot dot. And what you can see is one level up, I do not have my files because I had uh, my folder, my files, because I had gotten rid of that. Well, how could I create it from here? I could create it from here by saying make directory. I got to tell it where. Don't want to go all the way to the top. I just want to go up one dot dot and then go and create my files. Okay. Now if I look where I am now, nothing was created here, but if I look up one, you can see that there it is. I'm going to go on change directory dot dot. Now if I do ls, I am in that folder, I'm in that uh, slash home slash pi folder. Inside that slash home slash pi folder are my old friends desktop and Python games. <clears throat> and my new folder called my files. Let's go to my files. Change directory, my files. <coughs> What's in it? LS. Nothing's in it because I just made it and I haven't put anything in it yet. Okay, how would I create a file? We're going to learn something new. I know I repeat myself, but I'm assuming you don't know anything. And I'm assuming that you got to get comfortable with this by seeing it a few times. If you're an expert, go somewhere else, right? If you're trying to learn uh, and you need a little help, this is the place for you, okay? So where am I? PWD. <clears throat> I'm in slash home slash pi slash my files. My files is the new folder I just created. How would I create a new file here? Hmm. What I would do is a command called nano. Nano creates a new file. That's the what? Now I gotta give it a file name. So I'm gonna call it my cats. No, I don't like cats. My dogs. And then I'm gonna call it .txt. <coughs> you don't have to give it a .txt extension, but it's a very good practice to give it an extension. When I hit that, boom, what it does is it creates a text editor for me here. And you type up here at the top, and then down here, I'm using the mouse to point. The mouse does you absolutely no good in the uh, terminal window, but it is good to help. So 
What is this file called? MyDogs.txt. What's in it? Absolutely nothing. I just created it. So let's see. <clears throat> My dog right now, dog it would be Ginger, is a little Shih Tzu. And then Little Elmo is a little Shih Tzu. <clears throat> and then in the past, uh, I had a dog called Little Sweet. And then I had a dog called Spook. And then I had a dog called Susie. My dogs live a long time. This, uh, and then I had another dog called Spook. Oops. Ah, that was bad. Sorry. Okay, hit the wrong, hit the wrong thing there. Okay. <clears throat> I had another dog called Spook. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this Spook, this takes you all the way back to when I was about eight years old. When Spook was old, I got Susie. When Susie was old, I got the new Spook. When the new Spook was old, I got the little Sweet. When the little Sweet was old, I got the little Elmo. And then I got uh, when little Elmo, then I got Ginger. So these are all the dogs I have ever had in my life. Okay, so how do I save this? This is my dogs, my very special dogs. Well, to save it, this shows you it's Control O. That little carrot O is Control O. That writes out, so Control O. File name to write. Well, it's assuming you want to keep the same file name. So if you do, you just leave it as that. You click Enter. And now you got to get out of this. You've already saved it. So you get out of it by Control X. Okay. So to get out of a file, you got to save it, Control O, and then you got to exit it, which is Control X. So Control O saves, Control X gets you out of there. Okay. So what if I just want to look at that file? See what it looks like. I can do a cat, not cat like dogs and cats. Cats is in catalog. And I can say catalog my dogs.txt. This will let me look at the file. Can't really change it. <clears throat> but you see, I can look at it <clears throat> and you can see my dog's names were Ginger, Little Elmo, Little Sweet, Spook, Susie, and the original Spook. Okay. Where am I? I'm in PWD. Okay. What if I go to root? Change directory to root. Now how would I look at that file if I said cd my dogs.txt? It's not going to work. Why? Because I'm in the root directory and that file's not in the root directory. I got to give it the path of how to get there. Well, how would I do that? I'd say cat. <clears throat> Starting at the root, I go to home. I go to pi. I go to my files, and then I go to what? My dogs.txt. Boom. There are my dogs. Life is pretty easy when you're one of my dogs. I take care of the dogs. They live a long time. I've gone through my whole life and had six dogs. Okay. So how about if we go to change directory? slash home slash pi. <clears throat> Where am I? I am in slash home slash pi. So now if I ls, you can see there's still my files. So now how would I look at it from here? Well, I'd say cat. And what I could do is that's catalog, not dogs and cats, but catalog. I need to tell it my files and then slash my dogs. Dot txt. Is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. Why is it not going to work? Because if I am down in slash home slash pi, I don't put a leading slash. I reference things from where I am. Okay. If I put the leading slash, what I would need to do is I would need to go slash home slash pi slash my files. Okay. But from where I am here, I would just say cat, no leading slash, meaning reference from this per present folder my files <coughs> slash my dogs dot t x, x t okay and boom shows me the contents of that file what if I want to edit it well I do a nano again and I give it the same file name so it'll open up that uh, already there I have to tell it where it is okay it's my files. The what is the nano. <coughs> the where is my files. No leading slash because I'm referencing from my existing folder. I want to go down to my files and then my dogs.txt. 
Okay. <clears throat> now the file is open for editing. So let's say I should probably really say that that given and again the mouse does you no good. I'm trying to click around with the mouse. You have to click around with the arrow key, arrow keys. Really, we need to say this was spook number one, and then this was spook number two. Okay. And now how do I get out? Well, I need to save it. So I put Control O. File name to write my files slash my dogs dot text yes and then how do I get out of it control X and I get out of it now let's look at a cat let's go down to it this time change directory my files so now I'm actually in that folder no deleting slash because I wanted to reference from my existing folder now I'm CD my files okay now let's do an LS boom there is my file, mydogs.txt. Now, since I'm in the same folder as my dogs, right, pwd, <coughs> pwd, I'm in that same folder, slash home, slash pi, slash my files. If I do an ls, I can see it right there. <coughs> I can just say cat mydogs.txt because I'm in the folder already. I don't have to give a path name. <coughs> there it is. All edited, Ginger, Little Elmo, Little Sweet, Spook 2, Susie, and Speak, Spook 1. Okay, what if I did want to give a path? Well, I could come up and I could say slash home, start from the very top, and then I could say pi, and then I could say my files, and then I could say my <coughs> dogs.txt. And boom, there it is. Hey, here's another way I could do it. What if I say cat dot dot? That takes me up one. I'm now in the folder above it. What do I have to do? Come back down into it. What would I put here? Dot dot takes me up one. Got to come back into my files. <clears throat> and then my dogs dot t x t. And boom. There they are. Okay. So that's how I can move around. That's how I can move around. Let's say I do change directory and I go to the root. Where am I now? If I do a pwd, it shows me slash. I'm in the root, the top level folder. What if I want to create another file from way up here down in that folder? Well, <coughs> to create the file, I'm going to say nano and then I got to not just give it the path. I've not got to not just give it the file name. I got to give it the path down there. So we're going to say start in the root and then go home, go pi, go uh, my files. And this nano, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it cats.txt. Think that's going to work? I have no cats. I have never had cats. Okay? Cats are not completely domesticated animals. When you are asleep, ah, how about this? If you died in a room with your cat, your cat would wait a few hours and would then begin eating your arm. I firmly believe this is true. If you had a dog and you died, that dog would come and put its head on your chest and it would sit there and starve to death hoping that you would wake back up. If you were in a room with a cat and you died, your pet cat would look at you, kind of go over and nudge you a little bit, kind of lick on your hand a little bit, and then would start eating your arm. That's the difference between dogs and cats. How do I save this? It is Control O. Okay. That's my file. And then it is Control X. And I leave. And where I am at, I'm still way up here in the top root directory. I'm in the root, but I created a file all the way down here. Well, how would I look at it? I'd say cat. This is catalog, not cats the file. And then I'd say slash home, slash pi, slash my 
files slash cats dot t x t. Ooh, did not like that. No such file. What did I do wrong? Let's go down there and look at it. <coughs> Change directory home slash pi slash my files. What am I doing wrong? Let's look. LS, where am I? Okay. Change directory. Slash home. Ah, I'm misspelling pi. Change directory pi. <coughs> okay. Now do an LS. Okay. Change directory my files. I hope you guys caught that, right? And now let's do an LS. Looky there. I have cats and I have dogs. I'm going to cat my dogs.txt. It's still there. Now I'm going to cat cats.txt. There's my little essay. I have no cats. I have never had cats. Cats are not completely domesticated animals. If you died in a room with your pet cat, your cat would wait a few hours and then would begin eating your arm. Okay. So now if I look in my files, that's where am I? PWD. There I am. If I look in there, those are my files and I can now edit them. So what did we learn how to do today? <clears throat> we learned how to, we reviewed how to navigate up and down with the file structure and <coughs> we learned how to make a directory with MKDIR and then we learned how to create files and edit files using Nano. So we've learned quite a bit for today. Tune in for lesson five when we will learn even more about manipulating files and finding our way around the, uh, the uh, Linux system. Again, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com. If you're finding these lessons useful, consider giving me a thumbs up. One of these. Give me one of these, okay? Think about subscribing to the channel. Maybe share this video. See you guys in the next lesson.